So hi, so I want to demonstrate now everything is connected and I will explain what I've done in order to show the properties of the current LCD Hall effect sensor. So I, first I connected an Arduino relay for my load. The load is now a regal power supply so it is going through the relay and so if the relay is off so it is disconnecting. Now the relay is getting uh, its voltage from a DC to DC converter since uh, this whole effect uh, is giving out the, the voltage of the battery and now if I am checking and I will check now 20 volts it's too much for a 5 volt relay so it is doing a down converting of 20 volts uh, from the relay output uh, from this uh, whole effect and directly to the relay. Also I've added uh, normally uh, uh, with high, uh, sorry, logic high, meaning it is now in logic high so if it gets voltage so the relay is automatically connected. So now if everything is okay so and the voltage is going out so the relay is connected and the load is going on and everything is connected. Now we will uh, enable and disable the relay by all the features that we have in this uh, whole effect LCD sensor. So now I will power on my uh, regular power supply and set up everything. Now uh, the voltage and the current are now different, uh, different uh, connection to the power supply but you can connect it on the same battery it will work the same. So so the setup is exactly like connecting one battery that activate everything here and you don't need anything else. So now we will uh, enable 20 volt, let's say uh, 3 amps and we power it on. Uh, the relay is not clicking because we didn't yet give a command to output or input. <coughs> Now on the second uh, power supply, the current, so I will put a current of uh, 1 amp. So uh, now I will explain. So now if I'm connecting it without any feature, so you can see it measuring the, the current and the voltage, 20 volt, 1 amp, everything is okay, nothing is is. It is doing nothing and now uh, the total power of course is 20 watt. So now we will stop it and go to over voltage protection. And here I have a long press and I will put over voltage if the voltage is above let's say just a second is above 22 volts. So now if the voltage will be above 22 volts so it should disconnect the current and how do I do it? First I apply with uh, pressing the OK on the over voltage projection and now I'm going to the output and giving a current so you see everything is OK. Now I will uh, give the power supply instead of 20 volt 23 so it will be above the over voltage and it should disconnect the power and you will hear the relay so let's try it move into channel 1 so 23 volts tuck disconnected you see this work and it this is disconnecting the power now in order to get out from this you need to stop it and run it again so uh, i will now put again 20 volts it is on protection so I can't do anything so now it could uh, do it now let's go to the uh, over power protection so here let's put if the power is above a uh, first let's maybe okay okay if, if the power will be above a uh, above 25 watt it will stop uh, the current out meaning it will disconnect the relay so 
it's it's uh, it's 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 taking the time because you need to press and you see you go uh, it takes a little time <coughs> okay so now if I'm above 25.5 watt it will disable this feature is now on so I'm going to out now the power is you can see here it is 20 watt I will give the current up for 2 amps and then it will be above so it should stop so I'm now putting 2 amps and tuck did you hear it is disconnected so we checked the both uh, uh, over car over voltage and over power and it is working perfectly now we'll go uh, to over current protection this is the third one first I will uh, disable the current giving it one amp again it is you need to stop it and connect it again in order that it will work because you need to be below the protections that you uh, guaranteed so going to overcome protection let's enable it and put it it is now on wow on 20 amps so let's put it uh, on above 1.6 amp so again enabling it uh, I will uh, disable the overpower protection so I will know it is not related to overpower I will put the overcurrent it is now green and now power out and now I will go to 1.7 amp and it should stop Tuck. it did stop it is working also great I, I have to admit it is more than I have expected for such a, a low price device so now let's go to a uh, over time over time it is just counting the time so let's put uh, two minutes okay and then I will enable it and run so it is should just uh, after just a second <coughs> after two minutes it should stop and you can see now the reading is is one minute zero zero uh, dash zero zero hour and again I'm waiting when it will get to two minutes I think it will stop automatically uh, one minute from now let's see if if the relay will stop you will see the count drop to zero when it will get now it is one amp you can see it on the LCD so let's wait till it gets to two minutes again I, I, I'm just testing it first time now with you I didn't try it this is my first test so I have no idea if it should work or it shouldn't but for now it is uh, perfectly okay doing all ah now it is two uh, two minutes and it is didn't stop so maybe if it is above two minutes it's, it should get to three minutes or now it is just started the second minute so uh, let's wait another minute to see if it get to three minutes and it is not stopping so I'm missing something with the overtime protection so let's wait Ah, it did stop so all over time is working also perfectly nice feature I have to admit let's go to a uh, now disable it to a uh, overcharge protection overcharge I, I don't know if it is charge and discharge but let's try it I have to admit that I have no idea how it should work 
so let's uh, put a 0 0.2 amp because we want it uh, to to, uh, to get the fast so let's run it and again uh, ah it is why oh, it is not starting checking Maybe it gets the, the overcurrent pretty fast, so let's change its value. Okay, so I have no idea currently why the overcharge, maybe it is just checking one direction of charge. Yes, about the overcharge, I'm not sure. Maybe it is just checking current in one direction to the battery. So now let's go to the last one, the under voltage protection. So I get it. So if it is below 17 volts, it should stop. So enabling it, and I will put 16 volts, so let's run it. So you can see there is a current. Now I will drop the voltage to uh, 15 volts even, just for a check. And bang, it stopped. So overall, all the feature except the uh, overcharge, maybe the overcharge is current to the battery. So one thing that I didn't uh, yet succeed to understand from this uh, video, but overall everything is perfectly working it is measuring the capacity and the watt and everything and you have a good protection just don't forget the disadvantage you need a dc to dc converter in order to run your relay otherwise you will burn your relay because if you're working on on 30 or 40 volts with relay of 12 volts so boom it will not work for you so hope this was useful to anyone thank you and I see you next time.